Hey guys, good morning. Sam Clausen here from Dosti Homes. I'm just hanging out on this beautiful day up here in Wildlight, Wildlight Wednesday, and I thought I would take you guys on a personal tour of our recently completed manor home, our Bluffton, which is right behind me. It's 2,900 square feet. Uh, I thought you guys might enjoy that. So come with me as we walk through Wildlight on this wonderful, beautiful Wednesday. So as we come this way, guys, we're gonna pass our Beaufort, our 2,500 square foot house that you've seen before, but that's not the house we're gonna to highlight today. Today, we're gonna to come in here and we're gonna highlight this wonderful two-story, 2,900 square foot Bluffton model. So come on. You know, up here at Wildlight, one of the key factors of doing the architectural design was creating these beautiful front porches. So we've got these wonderful eight foot deep front porches on all the homes that we're building up here. Come on in, welcome. As we enter into this home, we're in a two-story foyer. So we've got some great natural light filtering up top, this wonderful open handrail that you guys can see here. Uh, as Brian behind the camera looks through there, we've got a great through view to the natural area right there behind us, uh, which is preserved, so it's always gonna stay like that. Uh, right here off the foyer, we've got a wonderful spot. I know everybody's working from home these days. We actually took that into account. So we've kind of got a flex room, home office, however you want to use this space right here off the foyer. I love the way this stairwell ended up because this is a great spot for our kind of a furniture table right here in the foyer. Drop your keys, your guests drop off their stuff before they enter through into the main house. People love storage. We did not forget about storage. Look at all this storage underneath the stairs right there. Can you guys see that? But you don't have to sacrifice that for a coat closet because we even have a coat closet for you. So coming through that lovely arch, we're in the main part of the home. So we've got a great two-story family room with clear story windows staring up at that beautiful blue sky. 21 foot tall ceilings. Dining room tucked over there in the corner. And then as we back around this way, you can see the great gourmet kitchen that we've got set up for you here. Quartz countertops, white painted 42 inch maple upper cabinets. And right through here, this is kind of a magic room. This is your back kitchen, or what can be your back kitchen. It can be your pocket office. We even have a large pantry that's set up in here already. But people love these back kitchens, butler's pantries. We've left the space there so we can even design that for you if you decide to purchase this home. Coming down this hall with me, again, storage. We did not forget about storage. Huge linen game closet. And anytime we do a two-story house, we try like crazy to fit in a downstairs secondary bedroom. Just in case you have guests, that have trouble going up the stairs, we tried to take advantage of that right here. So they have their own bedroom and their own bathroom as well. Now I know we haven't looked at this yet and I haven't talked about it, but this home has a master bedroom on the first floor. If there's a master bedroom on the first floor, one of the things that's critical in design is making sure that you keep the laundry room on the first floor as well for those folks. So come back through the great room with me and we'll take a look at the first floor master bedroom. We're already wired for a television to be mounted on this wall. So we've got a great audio visual package that's already wired in this room also. So now we're in the master bedroom. Look at that view out through those windows. Guys, I can't imagine waking up like that. We've got 10 to 11 foot ceilings here in the master bedroom. And then we come into the master bathroom. So we've got a wonderful five piece master bathroom in here. We've got a large shower with frameless glass. We've got our drop in tub, upgraded tile throughout. His and hers vanities even have a makeup vanity, little knee space area there for you, and a private water closet. But what I like about this house 
is the walk-in closet because we've got a his and hers side to this walk-in closet. So, Breen, as we walk back through the house and we're heading upstairs, I'm going to talk a little bit about wildlife, if that's okay. Sure. So, I'll let you go first, just so you can take everybody on a tour up these stairs. We are currently building townhomes and manor homes up here in Wildlife. Wildlife is located in Nassau County. Take this tour up these lovely steps. We are just off the interstate. We are about a 10-minute drive to the airport. We're also only about a 10 minute drive to the River City Marketplace. So when we all get to go back out and go shopping, you guys living in wildlife would be very close to anything you needed to get to. So here we're taking advantage of that look through those clear story windows over and above that two story family room. And we're standing in the bonus loft so we have views down below from there, and we have views down below through the foyer as well. Looking at that front window, you can even see the lake out there on Ponder Circle. So great views throughout this home. So finally, back down this hallway here, we have two secondary bedrooms, large bedrooms, plenty of natural light. This secondary bedroom here even has a walk-in closet. And then finally, both of those bedrooms share this lovely split. It's not really a Jack and Jill bathroom, but it is a divided bathroom. So two children can still use this bathroom at the same time, one being in the bathing facility and the other being at the vanity. And again, upstairs, we didn't forget about storage, so we've got a linen closet right outside the bathrooms here, too. All right, now we're going to go out into the backyard and check out the outdoor living area of this wonderful home. So we've got a great covered lanai, outdoor backyard, and a breezeway from our not two, but three car garage on this home. So if you guys have multiple cars or you need a workshop, not very many houses out here in Wildlife have this three-car garage, so this is a great find. We've already plumbed and wired for an outdoor kitchen out here on the back porch. And then if you can see how large this backyard is, there is plenty of room back here for a pool. And as I said earlier, that backdrop, that natural area, never going away, staying just like that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour of our 2,900 square foot Bluffton home up here in Wildlife. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us on social media as we're trying to do our best doing the social distancing during this trying time. Thanks again for joining us today.